Welcome back to another episode of Real Life Fisherman. Today I'm going to be installing a uh, 24 volt Minn Kota Altera with the Mega DI built in transducer. Also, going to install a Hummingbird Helix 9 with RAM mount and also a three bank Minn Kota digital uh, onboard charger with the battery upgrade of 24 volts. So, stay tuned and uh, check it out and see how it's done. One of the most important things when you're starting out is to put it up on the bow of your boat and mock out where you're going to mount it, the angle you want it, and then most importantly, you have to make sure that this notch here inside on the, on the chassis of it is past the outermost edge of your boat. So if you have a curved bow, like a fiberglass boat, you have to make sure this is all the way out past the rub rail of your boat. Otherwise, you're going to get interference when this deploys. This might hit the bow of your boat and malfunction. The next thing you're going to do before you start marking your holes is you have to take this lift assist shock off the side. In order to do that, you're going to have to pop off these two small E-clips. The arrow points forward. Fairly simple to do. You can stick your flat tip screwdriver in there. Pop that clip out. Don't lose them. Pop this one out that then slide the shock off that allows you to access your mounting hole locations and another thing on this side here you can tell these mounting holes are slotted that is because you cannot remove this worm gear drive this is what actually deploys and retracts this is the motor that stands it up and lays it down you can't remove that so these are slotted you have to mark those drop your bolts in then slide it in on those so that you can tighten those up. Very helpful to get you one of these reach mark pins. Allows you to have a long skinny tip to get down and mark holes for doing stuff like this. Trust me.
Hummingbird does provide a cord grip holder, which is kind of nice to be able to plug in the back of your unit. It holds all of your connectors in one plug like that. Each one's fitted for each size and it, it holds and routes your cables there. back to the battery area and we'll put the batteries back in and put it all back together. <laughs> Make sure it's under here. I've done it. You gotta put everything back together in the wires. You didn't notice, but you ran it over the top of a brace or something instead of under it.
Give it a little checky. Good to go. Check my fish finder. My favorite part of the job. Love that. There we go. Yep, that's right. Where is it? You hear it clicking down there, John? Put your ear up to that right here on the trolling motor. Yeah. Yep. And just so you see what we've been dealing with, it's reading 120 degrees, hotter than 80s. Been cooking out here, frying our brain. Eye pilot's been detected, so we're linked. Good to go. See how much smaller they made this than mine? And it's touchscreen. And it's upside down, so when you hang it, yeah, it's, it's the right, way. right way. Little things that you get better with Gen 2 stuff. 